Hey everybody, yeah, Curious here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series, Part 42. So, we got some deer over here. We could use one of those hides, because I would like to make the Trevoy if possible. Uh, let's see what day we're on here. We are on day 81. So, once we hit 100 days, that'll be my minimum... You know, that's sort of like the minimum level I want to reach, uh, no matter how this ends. I'd be... I'd be satisfied with it. Not happy, but okay with it. But, uh, you know, if we got attacked and killed or something like that, at least we made it 100 days. I could say that much. But uh, hopefully we can push it out to 500. So I, I tweaked the settings inside OBS, the recording software. Hopefully this looks a lot better in the dark areas, not as pixelated. For some reason, it defaulted to some pretty low levels, so wasn't expecting that. But uh, we woke up here at the uh, Trapper Homestead. And uh, we're looking a lot healthier. A lot of you guys also pointed out that I should make sure my health is in better shape. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep for two, I think. Especially when I'm hauling around meat and things like that. If I come over a hill and there's a wolf there and attacks me and I have like 30% health, 20% health, I'm pretty much a goner. And that's a good point. Even if I have my flare out and stuff like that. If it's within... If I meet up with that wolf and it's closer than its uh, attack range, then it's going to attack no matter what I do with the flare. So, duly noted. Try to do better about that for you guys. All right, this doesn't look too bad. Um, there was some deer over here. I'd like to maybe hunt one of these. Get another deer hide. Um, plenty of food. Cause I'd like to make that. I'd like to make the sled if possible. Do we have a deer? We got a bunch of deer hides curing, but I think this is for our for our. Uh, boots that we're working on so i'm probably, probably going to work on these wait that's for the uh no no sorry sorry this is for the pants so and we need that we need an extra cured gut if i'm not mistaken it's been a few days yeah we need four cured guts so we're waiting on those to cure over at the uh unnamed pond unnamed house or whatever it's called so it looks like we could probably use some more water here shortly. Surprisingly, we're going through that pretty quick, but that's okay. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So I might dip over there and just get the meat over, get it harvested. Um, and then we'll come back here tonight. Hopefully we it won't cost us too much health. But, uh, let's get started. Nope. Got really foggy. Um, I'm not opposed to traveling in the fog because of bears in there, but, uh, let's go ahead and go for it. Yeah, let's, let's make our move. In unrelated news, uh, the uh, Operation Fish Rescue has gone really well. That is doing really good. Someone corrected me in the comments. was like, it's beta. I looked it up. Miriam Webster disagrees. So, for all you fish beta, beta snobs out there, I'm calling it beta. I think it's like a tomato tomato thing. But yeah, he's doing really well. So he's been renamed. He was Leo and now he's Sashimi. And uh, he's got a nice little Japanese themed aquarium going on. Probably post some pictures up here for you guys to see what it was and what it is now. It was uh, pretty shocking how bad the conditions were. When you get a, uh, apparently, the guy I'm office partners with, the other sergeant, he said that one of the cleaning people came through and they were like, oh my gosh, look how dirty that is, and it smells horrible. So it did, and it smelled, it smelled like sewage, honestly. So, no more. No more of that. So, sashimi is living the good life. I'm just going to kind of follow this around here because this will eventually take us where we need to go. So the wolves are out. Most definitely.
Nice and well fed at least. That's good. Never felt so cold in my life. Ah, there, that looks familiar. We're in the right area. There we go. We found it. Okay. So, just gonna try to grab these one at a time here and move them over. That's uh, all I can do. I'll be hungry later. But luckily, we have plenty of energy. And uh, the nice thing is, when we get tired, if I take a little nap, we should get uh, some health back because we're not really starving or anything today. Right, oh, son of a gun. <sighs> hmm. Well, I think I'm gonna kill this guy. Oh, I shot. I don't know what happened. It, it didn't shoot for some reason. I got a sprained wrist out of the deal. That was it. Maybe some lower condition, but he's going to bleed out and die. So that'd be all right. Um, let's go up here and treat the sprained wrist. I don't really want to use any pills or anything on it. That's a wolf that lives right over there. Kind of where the bear was wandering off to when I lured him back the final time. So, that's okay. He's running straight towards my cabin, actually. He'll, he'll divert, but... So that wolf will bleed out. Probably wouldn't be bad to check the, uh... Check the old stats here. Where are they at? Wolf's killed, so we got five killed. So when we see that turn to six, we'll know he's, he's down for the count. Okay. Did I turn the wrong way? I think I might turn the wrong way a little bit. There's the cabin. Yep. Stop following the bloody wolf tracks. So we'll go in here and rest for a little bit. I don't think it did it. We're, we'll check our clothing as well. See what kind of damage we got here. Sprain wrist, pain, pain. Two sprain wrists, actually. Now let's take a look at our clothing. See how badly we got attacked here. Not bad. We were pretty well protected, as you can see. We're so up armored now with all these furs and things. It's only going to get better once we get a wolf skin coat and those deer pants. And if we end up getting a uh, bear coat, I don't even know if it'll be necessary, but um, basically be able to tank those wolves pretty, pretty well and uh, protect our clothes for the most part and ourselves. So that'll be nice. But you see how fast he just like got off me once he realized it wasn't going to work out for him. So, all right. Well, we tried. He was, he was right there though. As soon as we did that, this, the scent started pulling him in. But uh, once he dies, then we should be able to have enough space between us and the nearest wolf to uh, do these transfers. So we'll just go ahead and rest here for um, how much time do we need? Just two hours. Let's, let's just rest for three. See what happens with this weather. Get back our health that we lost a little bit. Not much, but a little. But it didn't take much health away, so... Okay, but we're fully healthy, hopefully. The weather's... Yeah, it's a lot clearer now. What's the temperature? It's not too bad, negative 14 degrees. Well, at least in the sheltered area. So let's take a look here. Yeah, 44 minutes on the pain. Not too worried about that. Let's take a look at our stats. See what the wolf stat says. Um, wolf's got six. So and he's down. Yeah, all right. He's down somewhere. We'll probably listen for the birds. Um, he'll probably be somewhere where he typically patrols. Normally they get injured, run away for a little while, and then kind of return back to their patrol area and then collapse somewhere around there. So at least we cleared him out. We saved ourselves a, a bow or a, an arrow deterioration. So all in all, not a bad little wolf attack. Pretty happy with that. probably down here real real close somewhere here. Let me grab that wolf hide too. And some wolf meat. But first things first, let's uh let's get this over while the getting's good. So weather's not too bad here. Too heavy. Yes, I know. 
We're gonna wear ourselves out running this back and forth, but that's okay. I think after I get my pants, the next priority is gonna make this make the sled. I do want to make this sled because everybody in the comments keeps talking about how much easier it is. But the thing is, I've heard that you can't travel through anywhere there's a sprain risk. And it's like everywhere you walk, it's pretty much there's somewhere that has a sprain risk. So I don't know how that works, but I'll figure it out. Everyone seems to look like it. At least there's a... If, if it's not everybody, then there's a... There's a majority... vocal uh, or I'm sorry a vocal minority in the uh, comments all right so we got that one let's go grab a couple more we should be should be wolf free let's take a look on our condition uh, 20 minutes okay so it is disappearing good don't act like he's got a stomach that's almost half full and he's acting like he's hungry I think our wolves gonna be right over here somewhere either in this little basin where we're at now or just over the hill on that side and I probably, I do, there's some saplings over there I want to explore as well. Now that we've got rid of that wolf, it'd be a good opportunity to do that as well. I really hope that this quality is better for you guys. I had a suggestion in the comments for uh, gameplay for Kingdom Come Deliverance. That's a very good game played a bit of it um, a while back and it's really good great story amazing story and uh, the gameplay the open world aspect and all that is just really good so I'm, I'm really considering because when I was playing it I was like man I really wish Something's I really go. wish I could uh, I had the time to play it for the channel and uh, now I'm starting to get a little bit more time especially with this fiber connection I'm able to and the upgraded computer. I'm able to move things quicker when it comes to the um, behind the scenes sort of editing and uploading my feet. part of the, of the channel. So it doesn't tie up my PC as long. You know, processing the videos and uploading them. So it's actually lightning quick. It went from about 45 to 55 minutes to process a video to about 15 to 20 minutes depending on the length of the video and then in about three to four minutes to upload it so yeah whereas before to upload it it was about an hour and a half to two hours so obviously that leaves me a lot more time to play games negative 13 is actually warming up a little bit um yeah all right this isn't bad at all once we get these legs on it, it'll feel more like uh, I do need to probably so, warm up a little bit. But uh, we're at one percent for hypothermia, so just hit it, hit us. But um, once I get the legs, the new deer deerskin uh, pants, we get some more leg covering there. Be down to about eleven degrees, negative eleven degrees, which. Ain't too bad. Wow, it's actually a really pretty day. Negative 12 now. This pack is getting kind of heavy. All right, well, we're out of stamina there, so we need to let it re recover a little bit. I don't see any crows at the moment. Normally they'd be circling wherever you want to. I do remember that one wolf took off up into the uh, hills next to camp office and like ran all over the place so i guess it could be anywhere it might be over in clear cut the next uh next hill over it's hard to say hopefully we find this wolf be nice to get the the hide in the uh the guts at least i also got a comment that they said in lower levels the rabbits did give the guts i couldn't remember so i'm thinking that's true right so that'd be an easy source for guts. This one sort of fell into our lap, so we kind of had to take it. But I'm gonna rest inside here until we do warm up for whatever it is, half hour or so. Of 
if we were back at uh, Trapper Homestead, we'd use this to get a free fire going and actually probably harvest some wood too. Get a free fire going and have a water cooking session. Now we're down to negative 10 degrees or up to negative 10 degrees. So oh, you know what I said I was going to. I'm so cold. Yeah, I said I was going to warm up. up again. Let's go and do that. Yeah, we probably don't want to stay the night here. So, just not enough water. So let's go past time here until we're warm. Oops. There we go. That'll pretty much finish off our water. So we don't want to get stuck here. But even if we lose a bag or two, I'm not too worried about it. We have meat everywhere at the moment. Don't want to get too greedy. I hear the crows now. They're over there, so I wonder if they're over top of the wolf over in that direction. We'll find out soon. <sighs> now those are going to be birch because there's multiples there's like a little cluster of them there too much stuff to carry all right one more trip then we can be done with this then we can harvest them up and go from there but it, it's really oh man negative nine degrees celsius this is like a beautiful day right here this is like springtime for us feels so spoiled get a free fire going and start well come out here bust up some wood start cooking up some of this meat because we got plenty of limbs around here definitely get a good fire going i almost feel like this <laughs> this episode has like been put to pilgrim for a minute this is just such such beautiful weather all of our little radial dials are in the white for the time being. There we go. And one more. Starting to, yeah, we're back to negative 11 again, so temperature fluctuation a little bit there. So even though I have enough wolf pelts for the coat i do want more of them just so that when it does come time to repair them we're, we're good to go we don't even have to worry about that we we have that covered down the road a little bit i see a cattail i missed right there oh well we'll leave that for when we're super desperate <laughs> someday might be today who knows things can go from perfect to absolutely horrible within an hour in this game you just never know take a look around make sure i'm not being snuck up on gradually i need to drop something by uh by another wolf i think it would probably come from that direction if, if any direction just then i saw that rabbit just like skip across the top of the ridge the ridge line there i was like oh right there's the wolf nope it's the rabbit all right another interesting thing is is killing this one does that mean the the one's going to actually spawn in mystery lake now or uh the bear or is it going to uh is that one just sort of not going to happen in this series i don't know all right we're starting to get tired we're going to head on back to yeah we're going to head on back to uh trapper homestead we'll go check on that We'll check on these crows that I hear over here, and then we'll check on that sapling over there. We'll we'll make our way back. We're gonna warm up first. Can't feel my hands. Wouldn't be bad to have some wood out here though, but not have any way to 
cook water at the moment. I didn't bring a pot. I got a couple pots there at the Trapper Homestead. But. Okay, so we got all this. We'll come back tomorrow and work on this, get this all taken care of. Our guts are 23% cured, so yeah, probably three or four more in-game in, in days, and we'll be good to go to start making those pants. So, let me take a look out here. I think it was seven here in a protected area. All right. We'll uh, warm up, and then we'll go see if we can find the location of this wolf. So let's do that real quick. Okay. Let's hop out here. Hopefully it's not too bad. If it's bad, we'll just seek cover, but it's not bad at all. It's going to be on this dead guy, isn't it? It's still above this. There, there's a dead guy right here, isn't there? Yeah, that's what it is. We'll grab these feathers. And we'll take a peek up over this hill, but uh, look at that one arrow pointing down for our temperature. That's I don't. It's been a while since we've seen that without a without you know standing next to a fire or somewhere like that. Okay, we have any feathers here? I got one. Uh, anything else? That that's it. Okay, let's take a peek over the hill here. See what's down in clear cut. Let's move a little faster here. You see any carcasses down here? A lot of firewood. Oh, here he is. We're going to take our advantage of this right now and grab this hide. And we're going to do it as quick as possible. 28 minutes ain't bad. Yeah. No, uh... No crows over top, though. Okay, can I grab the guts, too? 21 minutes? How are we doing on... Oh, we're doing pretty good on warmth, shockingly. Okay. Now we're going to be stinky once we pick up these guts, so... We do want to get straight back uh, to shelter with them and not wander around with them. Otherwise, I'm going to have to drop one for decoy purposes. Alright. And we're leaving behind a little bit. But let's head back, warm up, and then maybe head out. Weather's starting to change a little bit here. I can take the uh, hide back with me to Trapper Homestead. Probably take the bear, black bear hide as well. One less thing to carry on the trip when we bring the guts back once they're cured. But now we have, we should have about 12 guts here. Uh, these two are going to take a little longer to cure. So we'll put these freezing. over here. There we go. And then uh, we'll take this hide with us. There we go. Leave all this other stuff. All the stinky stuff stays here. My stomach feels like it. And let's pit. warm up. No need to. No need to. Uh, I keep doing that by accident. I keep hitting the escape key instead of to interrupt. All right. So yeah, it's starting to get a little nasty, but winds at our back. So that's good. No stink lines. Now let's hustle back uh, before we get too tired or we can't even run. And then we'll have water there. We need to, do need to do a water cooking sesh tomorrow, though. That is a priority. Need to rest soon. So we'll do that. But we have enough to make it the next couple days. And we'll we'll check on those saplings later. I don't want to do it now because this could turn from this to a whiteout blizzard real fast. And even though I'm pretty sure I'd be able to fumble my way back, and with you know five, ten foot visibility, it's not something that's a lot of fun. So let's try to move a little, little quickly here. At least get pointed in the right direction. Yep, feels like that's going to happen. Poor me. Went from a beautiful day to this. <laughs> double stick, another double stick. Alright, so we're just going to get up here to the, to the cliff face and follow it around. 
find some place to escape this cult. Use that as our guide. Plus, it's safer to do that anyway. Okay, starting to get real tired here. Don't want to spend too much more um, energy. Sound kind of weird. But we'll fill our tummies. We'll fill our. We'll fill our tummy with food and our. and water, and then we'll uh, recover. So. stumbling in and just completely exhausted which is okay there we go there's our happy home and we made it all right let's let's eat some food here uh where's our cook there it is Good enough. Good enough for government work. Let's get inside. Oh, relief. Yeah, we definitely need to do another cooking session. We're down to oh, one and a half liters of spare here, plus what we have here. Yeah. Do about another 20 or so. So. All right. Well, let's um, see here. Drop, a, drop the hides to cure. Let's do that. drop the wolf hide we'll get them all better organized in the morning there we go everything else looks okay there's some feathers in here there we go okay and I'll probably drink some tea you guys want me to drink a little bit more of the tea I think do I have any brewed up maybe I don't have any brewed up we'll have to do that during our cooking session tomorrow yeah need to brew up some more of that tea we have coffee but that won't help so, all right, let's get some rest with the uh, drink a little bit more since I used up a little bit there. All right, there we go. Let's, all right, let's sleep for 10, see where we're at in the morning. Should be pretty good shape. Should be around 80% health. If we had tea, we'd be probably at 100, but we'll fix that tomorrow. But today, 80 days, 22 hours, 41 minutes. Lies, lies. Why does it say 82 here? How do we get two days out of sync? I don't know how that happens. I can get one day because it depends on, you know, what the hours are versus, you know what I mean? I need to find something to drink. But we're about to go 83 days. It says 82 days, 22 hours, so. All right, 29 degrees out. Uh, we're in pretty good shape. Get another drink, and then let's go chop up some wood. There we go. Let's go find some wood. I know we got wood up here. So we can go do that. We're going to be getting cold a little bit here, but that's okay. We can, honestly, we could 
daisy chain of fire from one of the next, but the problem is that the, it's so cold outside. Um, I'd have to use some coal to uh, do that. So I think I'm just going to take a condition hit since we're not running in wolf territory here. Too bad. So, yeah, the, we're going to get these three, and it, it's not. there's really no danger of hitting a wolf here, so I'm not too worried about it. But you can see our health just dropped there. So you really don't want to do it. As I say that, there's a wolf over there. He's not very close. He never comes up over this hill right in that area. So not too worried about it. But uh, we'll just keep doing this. Get these three Freezer. sticks. Hopefully we get a little sunlight today. I, I'm guessing maybe we might not because it was so sunny yesterday. But what was that? Cabin fever risk, really? Really? I feel like I've been out a lot. All right. It's getting real picky about the cabin fever, huh? Oh, yeah, that's what I want to do. Drop these. And we'll warm up here for a second. Drop these coals here as well. 18 sticks as well. Probably drop some of those. Drop all those. There we go. All right, let's hop in the bed because we'll warm up faster that way. There we go. Can you interrupt it? That's nice. That's the nice thing about passing time versus sleeping there because this level you can't interrupt sleep. You have to, if you commit to, oh, we are going to get a free fire. I think it's so pretty out. It's cold, but it's pretty. Not used to waking up this morning or this early in the morning with the, uh, with the, um, the nice, beautiful sunrise there. All right, let's, we're already a quarter of the way to getting... Cold again. Looks like a new day is dawning. All right. Let's get low here. Don't know if it matters or not, but. Uh, we lost the opportunity for the free fire. <laughs> it's now cloudy again. And it's still cold, so we didn't even get the benefit of an insulative wear, um, layer of atmosphere there. All right. Well, we should have about, we should have a quite a bit of fuel here for the fire, but I do want to go, I kind of want to go back and get another one. Lay down for a bit. And let's throw this tinder plug away. I don't want it. Still cabin fever risk, huh? Um, we're going to need to go over to the cave. We're going to have to stop this and head on over to the cave. We have plenty of water at the other cabin. And we can let these cure. And um, come back and do the rest of the pants here later. But we need to go to the cave and do that. We have skillets there that we can use um, to cook. Which doesn't matter. Just You have to interrupt more often to... Uh, to do it. So I'll probably take the skillets from there and I take a couple of these. Well, I, don't, I don't need to cook water there. I'll just come back here and cook water later. So let's head on over to the cave to get rid of this cabin fever. I wasn't expecting that. However, it's nice now. Yeah. But we need to warm up. We're getting a little low with the health there. And I don't want to get any lower than that. Like I said, I said it was 50%. But I'm pretty certain I can make it over there. Without too many issues without any surprises at least Just, oh well so much for that idea um okay we might just be uh, having to deal with cabin fever to get rid of it you know might just have to uh, sleep here or at least until this storm passes then head over there um and just deal with the cabin fever i think you can't you can't sleep inside for like 24 hours which is fine we can use the cave but I don't want to be forced out, um, and we're half tired. Yeah, we need we need to. We got enough food in our. No, we need to eat a little bit here. I want to eat something, drink something, and then sleep until I'm uh, completely energized again. Okay, there we go. Good enough. And we'll fill our belly before we leave. That should get us through most of uh, everything we need to do over there at the 
cave for the next day or so. All right, let's uh, sleep for, try to get about eight hours. We won't. I think we'll probably wake up about five, five hours. All right, are you done? It sounds like the storm might be passed. Might have just passed. We got good supplies here. We just need more water. Other than that, it's pretty well stocked here for a little while. All right, negative seven degrees. Oh, it's great traveling weather. Let's fill our belly and then drink up again. We don't have much water we need to grab. I'm going to leave this water because we have more water at the uh, camp office. We have tons of water at the camp office. All right, we're good. Let's go. Negative seven degrees Celsius. Man, those boots are, are helping. Seems like since I put those boots on. That's that wolf up there. Okay. Not carrying around any. Oh, yeah, I'm also carrying around that tinder plug. I don't need that. And I have two can openers, <laughs> which I don't need. I think what happened was I broke down some furniture that had a can opener sitting on it. And instead of just dropping it on the floor, it automatically put it in my inventory. Kind of like when you bust up wood that, you know, it puts a tinder plug in your inventory automatically. All right, no, no bear over there at the moment. But uh, we'll move with some purpose here. Starting to get colder? No, it's still negative seven. Not sure why we have two lines, or two arrows pointing down. I thought yesterday, in game day yesterday, I thought it was like a couple degrees colder and we were only getting one arrow down. So I'm not sure about that. We weren't getting a heat up bonus by anything. So who knows? All right. This sounds like it could change again for a blizzard. So I'm going to move a little quicker. We have plenty of energy. Actually, we're probably going to want to burn off some energy. Try to get on a good sleep cycle. So we're not turning nocturnal. More birch bark here. Came down during the storm. So we'll pick that up. All right, we're going to go up and over this hill here. My new favorite way to avoid these wolves is to split the split them that's still over there that sounds like it might have been from Max's last stand you guys see him over here I don't see him over here I probably am safe going up that way but I'm just gonna go this way a little faster too so like more direct right the only thing is there's a slight chance of a sprain here because you gotta go up this hill so, yeah right here we wouldn't be able to use the true way as far as I know and when I say slight chance of a sprain in my gameplay, that's like a 100% chance. I think everybody deals with it, though. I just whine about it more than anybody else. Uh, is this the way, this is the way you get through, right? Yeah. I like that. I like that so much. Cold only took me, only took me nine or ten years to figure that one out. Oh, that always throws me off. Stick duplication is catching me off guard. Still negative nine degrees. Basically, we're, well, we're, I can't believe we're going to make it all the way over here without freezing to death at any point. Or starting to freeze to death. I guess saying freezing to death has a certain finality to it. But. And this will also help a little bit with the cabin fever. Ooh, 86% chance. 
We definitely need to stay outside. So cold in my life. That's okay. We'll go hang. We'll grab some water supplies and we'll go hang up in the uh, cave. Just spend some time up there. I hate. I hate that we just have to like twiddle our thumbs up there. But I guess when you're trying to survive for a long period of time, a certain amount of days or something like that, it's not a sitting around and just passing time isn't the worst thing in the world. Alright, let's get inside here. And I'm not even going to warm up because we're just going to go up there and warm up. So, no point in doing that. Wait, those are cured rabbit pelts. I want to eat this. Not really. <laughs> What's this over here? Got some venison we can eat. Yeah, we got a couple there. Emergency steaks. Alright, let's go grab ourselves some water. It should be upstairs, right? Yes, there's the stockpile. <laughs> Grab a couple of these. There we go. Should be good now. You see that just tick up right there? The cabin fever? Man. What gives? Um, I, could, I don't know. Do I want to cook water up there? I don't think I do. Yeah, I can just cook it here. I guess I could. We'll take these. Just in case I want to use them up there I don't know oh someone else mentioned about the disappearing um, do I have anything else I want to leave down here I don't think so at the moment oh I was walking around with a moldy bear meat <laughs> let's go ahead and eat the rest of that I'll keep that with me apparently it wasn't enough to cause any stink lines but it would be enough to slightly divert traffic in my direction um, that's enough to give us some more calories. That's fine. Kind of worked out good, actually. That mistake was in my favor. But, uh, someone mentioned about the disappearing, um, deer up here. Uh, once you look at it, it starts to counter for the three days. And that sounds familiar. Um, I was like, at first when I read it, I was like, what do you mean? Like, the first time I just kind of look at it on the screen, and then it's like, oh. You saw it. It was on your. It was a pixel on your screen. Uh, I think what they were saying was well, once you actually go into it and click on it to investigate it, then that's when the the three day counter happens. Then after three days, so it'll disappear. Right so that uh, that makes sense. All right, let's spend some time up here as a cave person. I knew that was coming. I just knew it. Just knew it. <laughs> this is hilarious. This is why I turn sprains off. In my other games where I ha I do custom settings, it's just it's just so annoying. It's 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 absurd. We got my rabbit buddy. I hear him. He's around here somewhere. We got here. Oh yeah, that's that. Oh, that I'm gonna drop that food right there for now. We'll get inside, get warmed up. Come limping through the finish line here. 19 degrees Celsius. We're good. We got ourselves a bear bedroll. Oh, that hurts. You're gonna be fine, Will. Don't quit your whining. And then we'll just rest um, here. So one of the things I can do is I can go up and down the rope to uh, tire myself out, but I can't do it when I have a sprain, so I guess I'm going to have to uh, let time pass for this. So, let me see here. Um, yeah, I really kind of got backwards here with the uh, sleep schedule. And the dogs are playing again. Alright. Okay, so do I want to rest? I guess I can just pass time. Um... We could we could heat up and then I could grab some wood, maybe find some firewood to bash up. That would be all right. We'd we'd probably be able to almost top off our health even if I do go and pick, grab one of those. 
and take a 15% health hit. I think that'll be worth it. Let's do that. Seems like a pretty safe option, especially, especially up here. There's no wolves up here unless, you know, you scare one up here, shoot one, or flees up here, or you draw one up here with the smell of food, I guess. So, let's do that. Let's go ahead and warm up. That's right. We, I don't. I can't. I don't think I can chop wood. I forgot about that. Um. Do I really want it? I guess I could wrap them. I kind of want to get some more. <laughs> I want to get some more. Okay. Do I want to use two? I can do that. Let's just do that. Oh man, I really don't want to. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. I, I don't think we're going to be able to chop wood like this. I think it's going to say no, no chance. It looks like a one-handed hatchet. I'm just going to say that. I could use my other hand. All right, let's go back here. It's probably there's probably going to be wood back here more. Likely anywhere else. I can't believe we got two hobbling around like this. Try not to go too far because if the blizzard hits, I don't want to get lost finding the cave and have to go back down to the cabin and use that as a starting point and then hopefully get up to the cave and it'll just be an annoying. Nope, I think I see a piece right in front of me. After I pick up a duplicate stick. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to point straight towards where I want to go. In case Soon. it becomes a wide out, then at least I'm heading the right direction. It's getting dark out here. Time to look for shit. It let me cut. So that's cool. All right. Well, still <laughs> no recovery at all. Need to rest. Need to actually get sleep. But we do have some wood here in case we need to start a fire back there. Could make myself a little uh, water supply up here, or I could just bring up some water. That's always an option. I'll probably just bring up some water from down there, but I'll, I'll leave some wood up here. Emergency fire stuff, you know. Just in case. Leave the little rabbits running around, just in case. Need some emergency meats. I don't know why he died there. He should have come in the back of the cave and where it's a lot warmer. It is what it is. I almost feel like when you get to this level, you should just live in a cave like this. You should just pick this cave instead of the camp office and just live here. Um, there's really no reason not to, unless it gets like to like negative 80 or something I've never even experienced. Then I guess you could go down to the camp office and sleep in there, take refuge there. But that might actually be a better tactic just for convenience purposes, just live in this cave. Damn, that's smart. Never have to think about cabin fever all right where's our wood at i don't want to be carrying it around there it is okay and uh move over a little bit here drop a few of these sticks here probably just all of them actually and i'll bu bust up some of this birch bark make ourselves a uh oh, wrong one can only do the one. I need two per, right? Yeah, two. Okay, there we go. And we're not going to get the best sleep tonight because I'm not. I'm not going to sleep ten hours through the night, um, in a, even in a cave, because you just never know when that monster blizzard's going to happen and get super cold. Talks are still going at it. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I should probably do something about it. Give me one second here. Okay. They're looking at me like, I have no idea what I did wrong. But at least they're quiet now. Maybe. Maybe. I don't feel so good. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, what is our cabin fever doing? Oh, that's just hypothermia. We got rid of it. But we're going to spend a night here and uh, just make a day of it. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and I don't really want to sleep. Let's, let's go up and down the rope. It probably won't let me climb the rope, though. All right, let's get some sleep. Let's do four hours. See if we can actually do four hours. I think we're going to do four hours. Hopefully get rid of all these sprains. Yeah, there they are. Oh, look at all those. They're all healed. Yay. So what we're going to do is go up and down the rope. Make ourselves tired. And then try to get back on to sleep for maybe another six hours. So we're going to intentionally exert ourselves here. And build some muscles at the same time, right? Negative 35 degrees. Can you imagine doing this in negative 35 degree weather with all this gear on? No way. I freaking I would die like right here would be my immediate death. So going down, we're not losing too much on the sleep radial or the stamina radial there. There's another one right there. I forgot there was two here, because I never go this way. I might as well grab some sticks while we're here. There we go. All right, let's take a, another peek down here. See, maybe we can see the bear wandering around out here. Give us a little heads up on what's going on. No, can't see much there. All right, let's head on up go down both of them and then go back up both of them but I think I'm just gonna stick to this one right here it's to really sap our energy away we'll go inside and warm up again unfortunately uses up a lot of calories too well, I guess probably about the same as running. Wait, Maybe a little more. I'm so cold. I'm warming up again. <sighs> All right, there we go. We could probably sleep right now for the next six hours and be in pretty good shape, but... Yeah, we could probably go. Let's just do two hours at a time to play it safe. And I'll get another drink. There we go. So, yeah, we'll do two hours of sleep here. Wait. Yeah, we'll do two hours. See where we're at. Maybe another two hours. Still gonna be nighttime. Yes. Uh, 81 days, 20 hours, 47 minutes. And yeah, we could probably get a little bit more sleep, but what I'll probably do... I don't want to go out there and chop wood and get my health any lower, because I'm trying to do better by you guys on that um let's see what it looks like out here negative 23 degrees let's sleep another whoa there's rabbits everywhere like an invasion of rabbits it's okay better rabbits than wolves i think by the time we head back to the uh, trapper homestead our guts will be almost cured we'll be able to get started on those the pants right away so that'll be nice We'll get another couple hours of sleep here. All right. There we go. Fully rested. So. All right. Let's head on. Got some wood here. Got some fire starting material there if we need it. Um, I might not be... It might not be the worst idea just to leave a piece of coal here. If I do, I have any coal? I don't. I left it at the trapper homestead. But once we get the uh, pants, might head on back over to Forlorn Muskeg and check that cave back out and uh, see if we can find some. We might be ready for another coal run, honestly. At that point, so.
No afflictions. Look at that. What are the odds? Well, we still have a slight hill to go down, so... I'm not going to count our chickens quite yet. I almost just want to bunny hop my way down those rocks. I think it's almost safer than walking along the uh, the hill here. Even though he makes grunts and annoying noises, it seems like it doesn't really factor in unless you fall a significant distance to a spring, you know. There's another deer. Here looks like a statue. Oh, okay, now it's moving. There's that tip up. That, that that water drop noise is the tip up noise. Let me know that there's activity on the tip up way over there. So you guys put that in the comments. I did see that. Thank you. It's crazy loud for how far away that's supposed to be. All right, so we made it back to the camp office. No afflictions. Um, got a little diverted because of the cabin fever risk, but it is what it is. Sometimes you have to make adjustments in this game. So let me jump back out. I didn't, I was, I'm always paranoid. I know it always says save, but I'm always paranoid about it. So, all right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I guess we killed a wolf in this one. Yeah, not, not on purpose, but we did. Didn't take much damage either. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.